Hi friends, welcome to Offer Studies YouTube channel. This is part 3 in Microsoft Fabric video playlist. And in this video, we are going to explore about some general terminologies what we have to use in the Microsoft Fabric. So in the process of learning Microsoft Fabric, you will come across few terminologies which everyone should know it. At least when people use that words, we should have an idea like what that particular word means actually. So this session is going to be like a theoretical session. And in this video, I will be explaining few basic terms which we have we should have a basic idea. One is capacity, another one is experience, then another one is item, tenant, then workspace. So as I said, this video is going to be theoretical. So please pay little attention. Uh, so firstly, what is capacity means? Capacity means nothing but like, uh, like as name says, right? Uh, it is something like a, some physical power or the compute power given to resource to do some job. Okay. So imagine that way. So generally we use this capacity word, right? So what is your capacity to achieve certain task or what? Something like that, right? Like normal English word. So the same thing. So in fabric, when you hear this word called capacity, uh, that means your fabric resource has some capacity given and that capacity will be used to execute certain task and produce the output. It can be anything. It can be anything in the fabric, right? So it can be running some notebook. It can be running a pipeline. So any any a task in the fabric, whatever you are doing. So all that will work because of capacity given behind the scenes. Okay, we will discuss more about this capacity in future also in upcoming cases. So for now, remember that capacity is a word that will describe like certain power or certain resource or compute power allocation to your particular uh, fabric resource. Okay, and these capacities can be given via two ways. One is trials. Another one is fabric SKU. That means stock keeping units. Okay, so we will discuss that more in future. So you know this trial one, right? In our previous video, we have created a fabric free trial resource, right? So when you create a fabric free trial resource, uh, automatically for that free trial resource, a capacity will be given behind the scenes because of that only in that free trial, you can go and create fabric items. Okay, like pipelines, lake bases, lake, lake house databases and everything. So in the trial format, the capacity will be given or via fabric SKU, stock keeping units, it will be given and there are certain licenses to purchase and everything we will discuss in future. Okay, so I hope now you have a, a little bit idea what capacity means. Okay, like a imagination. Then the second word is experience. What is experience means? So if you have watched my first video in the Microsoft Fabric, uh, we have discussed that uh, Fabric is combination of multiple service. Like you can do the uh, data engineering thing you can do there by creating a pipelines and all. You can do the data science thing and blah blah blah. So we discuss few things, right? So that means indirectly, like uh, uh, if if you haven't watched my first video, please watch that so that you can make sense of this line what I'm saying. So indirectly, Fabric is nothing but like a combination of data factory plus Spark and then maybe that ADS Azure Data Explorer or Custo clusters and everything, right? So that's what we discussed, right? So all these are given as a different experiences. So if you remember in the fabric portal from the first video, uh, we see that there is a menu when we click that we see like a data engineering menu, a data science menu. So that means the data engineering part you can do in a fabric, the data science part you can do in a fabric, real time analytics using Custo you can do in a fabric, right? So all these things will be called as a experiences provided in the fabric. So experiences means the capabilities generally, okay, but uh, from the role point of view, what a developer does, he may do the data science part, he may do the data engineering part, blah, blah, right? So all these are like a experiences. So people use a word called experiences. So if you want to understand this more, so when you go to the browser, so if you go to the fabric after you create, uh, if you remember, we, we seen this icon, right? Power BI icon. So when you click that Power BI icon, you see here set of so all these are like a uh, if you see here uh, let me take the pen here to draw if you see here data engineering you can do there data science you can do there data warehousing 
real time analytics so all these things you can do in the fabric right so all these things are called experiences so experiences means certain jobs what you can do in a fabric so data engineering experience data science experience data warehouse experience and real time analytics experience okay so that's what experience means now what is item so item means inside every experience you can create few items right so for example if you take the data engineering experience so inside the data engineering experience you can create the lake house that means uh, spark databases delta tables and all if you are unsure what is spark databases and lake uh, house databases and everything so please wait for few videos in the fabric uh, we will be discussing in future or go to my azure synapse playlist in the last few videos i discussed that lake house and all and we can create the spark notebooks we can create the spark job definitions so all these different kind of things we can create uh, in the data under data engineering role right so all the items whatever you can create under a certain experience is called like item so under data engineering i can create a lake house item notebook item spark job definition item so item is one thing which you create inside a experience okay anything whatever you create inside a experience is called uh, item okay so tomorrow when i create a notebook what i will say under data engineering experience i created a notebook item so that's why i will say that now next word is our next terminology is tenant so tenant is think like uh, for your entire organization you are getting a fabric right so for entire organization level when you get a fabric you will get one tenant id there so tenant is nothing but like a single instance of the fabric for the entire organization it will be provided via the entra id azure active directory id before you used to call it like a azure active directory id now we used to call it like a microsoft entra id so via that id only uh, the tenant will be given to the entire organization that means yes, a complete fabric resource will be given to the entire organization and once that entire tenant id with a fabric resource given then inside that particular tenant people used to create the workspaces so workspace is nothing but like a folder so imagine like workspace is nothing but like a folder so that means uh, uh, okay so that means uh, let's assume uh, you are having you are a company owner so you have an entire organization in your hand now inside that organization you have so many projects so so many people has to do their own data engineering data science things and everything so everyone create their own workspace their own folder and inside that they will create items and i said what item means item means any item which you create inside the experience right it can be pipeline it can be lake house it can be notebook it can be uh, jo spark job definition anything you create inside any experience is called item right so all that items whatever you create you kind of map them with the workspace that means the first step in the inside the fabric will be having a workspace having that folder for your project and you will go inside that workspace and from there you create all your items under any experience so that's how the entire fabric thing works so these basic terminologies having the uh, idea when we use it uh, it is very important so please have this idea uh, uh, because in our future classes or in our future uh, videos i am going to use these words very frequently so you should understand what every terminology means so i hope you got an idea so what this means uh, capacity experience item tenant and workspace thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos Thank you so much.